What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Moving on to more examples for simplifying exponential expressions. We got five expressions to simplify. So starting off with number one, we got uh, a to the power of three, and then that is to the power of four minus two x. So here, the rule that we use, the law, is this one basically multiply the exponents, right? If you notice, this is in that format. So we would take a to the power of 3, and we multiply it by that whole expression here, not just the 4, but this whole thing is to the power of that whole expression. So this whole expression is like the b value right there. So we take this, multiply it by that whole bracket, 4 minus 2x, and then we just simply distribute the 3 inside the bracket. So we'll have a to the power of 12 minus 6x. So that's the answer for number 1, a to the power of 12 minus 6x. Moving on to number 2, I rewrote it up there. So for this part, we do the exact same thing that we did in number 1. So we're going to take this a, multiply it by the 3 plus a. This is like in brackets, so we got to distribute. So this would be x to the power of 3a plus a squared, like that. And then we're still multiplying by x to the negative 4a plus 2. And now, since we are multiplying two exponents with the same base, we can add the exponents. So this we would rewrite as x to the 3a plus a squared plus this whole expression here, so negative 4a plus 2. Now, because this is just a plus 1 in front of the brackets, we could just get rid of the brackets. All right, so this would be minus 4a, this would be plus 2. And then you just simplify by um, collecting like terms. So notice the a squared, there's no like term for that, so that's just by itself. We got 3a minus 4a, which is minus a, and then we got plus 2. So this here would end up being x a squared minus a plus 2. Two. Moving on to number 3, we got x to the power of 3a minus 5b divided by x to the power of 5a minus 3b. Now, this type of question could be easily shown as a fraction like this, right? This divided by that. So either you get something like this, or it could be written like that. So here, since we're dividing two exponents with the same base, we could subtract the exponents. So we'll have x to the 3a minus 5b, and then we'd be subtracting that whole exponent there. So in this case, the bracket is crucial because we're going to distribute that negative 1 inside the bracket. Right? So we're taking this exponent, subtracting that whole exponent, so that has to go in brackets. So be careful with that. It's a common mistake. So we have to distribute the negative. So we'll have x to the power of 3a minus, uh, sorry, this is in the exponent. So minus 5b minus 5a plus 3b, right? After we distribute the negative 1 inside the brackets, all the signs change. And now it's just collecting like terms. So 3a minus 5a gives us negative 2a. Minus 5b plus 3b gives us uh, minus 2b. So that's the answer for number three. We got x to the negative 2a minus 2b. And then number four, I rewrote up there. So we got x to the power of 3 to the power of a. And then we have 2 over x to the power of 2a. So in this one, we're going to have to combine a bunch of exponent laws. Now, hopefully, you still have those exponent laws written out that uh, I provided in the first section, right? They were listed out over here. We're going to have to apply a bunch of them in this example. So here we multiply the exponents, so this would just be x to the power of 3a. Now notice this is a fraction to the power of an exponent. If you remember the law, if you have a fraction to the power of x, you take the numerator to the power of x, take the denominator to the power of x as well. So you distribute that exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So this we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2a all over x to the power of 2a. Right? Does that make sense? So we took that exponent, took the numerator to the power of 2a, took the denominator 
to the power of 2a. And then from here, we can uh, try to simplify stuff. So this is like over 1. So we can rewrite this as x to the power of 3a, 2 to the power of 2a, all over x to the power of 2a. Now notice that this exponent and this exponent have the same base, x, meaning that we could subtract those exponents because we're taking this exponent, dividing it by that exponent. So on the side here, x to the power of 3a divided by x to the power of 2a, that's like x to the power of 3a minus 2a, right? Subtracting the exponents. These are like terms, so that just ends up being x to the power of a, right? So this here would simplify to x to the power of a, and then we have 2 to the power of 2a. And then these two we can't do anything with because they have a different base. This has a base of 2, this has a base of x. Another thing you can do, actually, to simplify this further, is you can break this down. So you could have 2 squared to the power of a, like that. And then uh, 2 to the power of 2, that's just 4. So we could actually rewrite this as x to the a, 4 to the a. So either this or that is the answer for number 4. Let's actually just write, uh, I'm going to write this one out here. So x to the power of a, 4 to the power of a. But you would most likely get full marks if you left it like that as well, depending on how picky your teacher is. Now one more note I want to make about this example is what if this exponent was negative 2a? instead of positive 2a. How would that change this question? Well, because this is a negative exponent, you can distribute the negative exponent. So this could be negative 2a, that could be negative 2a. But an easier thing to do would be first to flip the fraction. So this fraction 2 over x to the power of negative 2a, we can rewrite as x over 2 to the power of positive 2a. Remember, a fraction to the power of a negative exponent, flip the fraction, make the exponent positive, that's exactly what I did here. So then we would distribute that positive exponent. This would be x to the power of 2a. This would be 2 to the power of 2a. So this would just be flipped over if this was negative 2a. Thought I would make a note of that. But it was uh, just positive 2a. So we just left it as is and distributed that exponent to the numerator and denominator without flipping the fraction. And then finally, number 5 rewrote up there. So we have 2x to the power of a minus 2, and then we have 1 over x to the power of 2a plus 5. So in this case, what I would do, I would distribute this exponent um, to each of these expressions. So this would be a minus 2, and this would be a minus 2 as well. If you remember the law, if we have a, b to the power of x, if you're multiplying stuff, you got to distribute that exponent to all of the expressions that are being multiplied. So I took that exponent, distributed it to the 2 and the x. And then over here, fraction to an exponent, distribute that exponent to the numerator. So this would be 1 to the power of 2a plus 5 over x to the power of 2a plus 5, like that. And now let's try to simplify. Now, 1 to the power of anything is always just going to equal 1. So whether this is 1 to the power of 1, 1 to the power of 2, 1 to the power of 2a plus 5, 1 to the power of anything is always going to equal 1. So um, we can just rewrite that right here. This could maybe be like your next line. That could just be 1. And now let's combine this. Let's make it into one fraction. So this is over 1, this is over 1. So multiplying all the numerators, multiplying all the denominators, we'll have 2 to the power of a minus 2, x to the power of a minus 2, all over x to the power of 2a plus 5. And notice here that we have exponents with the same base, these two. So we can simplify those. So on the side, we're 
basically taking x to the power a minus 2, and we're dividing it by x to the power 2a plus 5. Right? That's how these two would simplify. x to the power a minus 2 divided by, right, the fraction, divided by x to the power 2a plus 5. So here, since we are dividing exponents with the same base, we could subtract the exponents. So we got a minus 2 minus, we got to subtract that whole exponent, so we got to put it in brackets. Be careful with that right there. I mentioned that in number 3, right? When you have a whole expression as an exponent, you got to treat that as the full exponent. So if you're subtracting, you got to put that in brackets. So this, we would have to distribute the negative inside the bracket. So we'd have a minus 2a, which would give us uh, negative a, right? a minus 2a is negative 1a. And then negative 2 minus 5 would give us negative 7. So this simplifies to that. So erasing this, basically this here ends up being 2 to the power a minus 2, and then x to the power of negative a minus 7. And we can't simplify that any further because these exponents have a different basis. So answer to number 5, uh, 2 to the power a minus 2, x to the power of negative a minus 7. Right, so these ones are a bit trickier because they have variables in the exponents. But still, the same general rules apply that I mentioned in the first section.